Yes, yes, let's start this uh, this live stream thing. Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome to um, day two of the game by its cover jam thing. And we are about to continue work on uh, Shapes of Mind. I wanted to stream yesterday evening, but um, we have some guests. We have uh, my wife's sister and um, her dog, her really cute dog are here uh, and it turns out that my working space here is shares uh, use as like doubles as a living room so yeah um, it's difficult when you have guests um, I cannot say like hey you just have to sit in the kitchen because I have to live stream <laughs> um, right uh, oh gosh um, Oh wait, no, I'm uh, um, uh, shapes. That's right. So, um, so I'm already behind when it comes to when it comes to my uh, goal of doing four hours a day. Um, by the way, I figured out the sound problems I had yesterday. So <laughs> it turns out that I had my headphones attached to the screen. So the audio was piped through the screen via USB and that screen uses different audio drivers than the actual 3.5 millimeter plug in my notebook. And so, and the behavior is different. Oh, you have to, by the way, you have to let me know if maybe it's a bit too loud. I think it might be too loud, right? I, th I think I will, I will tone down a little bit the, the audio. I think that's better, right? So, um, I was, um, yeah, I, so the behavior is really different with the, with the USB. The way it works on the USB on a, on a screen is when I turn, turn down the volume on my headphones, it will actually turn down the volume in OSB, uh, or OBS, I mean. But if I do it through my 3.5 millimeter jack, then, um, uh, OBS is actually recording always at full volume, the, no matter what, what my volume the headphones are on, which is computers, all right? Computers. Uh, and also my, I'm not sure if the, the problems I have with my mouse are caused, uh, caused by the live stream or if it's really just the battery dying. So uh, it's a bit, a bit of a bumsky. Voice is loud and clear, not sure about computer sound yet. Yeah, um, let's, uh, let's, Do you, do you hear the Zelda music, Nerdy Teachers? Do you hear there's uh, chill um, lo-fi beats going on in the background a little bit, but not too loud? Barely. Okay, I can make them louder a little bit. Maybe. I will stop them now because I wanted to actually play the... Can you hear this? Wait, that's not good. That's, that's just the sound effect. That's not the entire composition. Well, I, cannot I can barely hear this. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit soft. Yeah, it's a bit too soft. I, I, we have to we have to discuss this with with Gruber Music. Okay, never mind. Let us let us go and get this. Ma so today, a uh, goal for today's stream. I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a distracted. I'm kind of like um, I have like a little slot in my time uh, today's time. I probably won't be able to do the four hours today either. Uh, I want to. It's coming through. I have to put my ear up to the speaker to hear it. <laughs> well, uh, to be honest, same here. Um, it, it is a bit soft. I have to talk to Gruber Music about this. Um, so also it's ambient music, so it's kind of like not supposed to be um, that loud anyway. Um, I 
yeah, I don't have too much time today. Um, the um, the girls might come at any point, any point, and I really want to have the um, like implement the fact uh, the ability to be dragging things um, back and forth. Okay, so yeah, that's right. Um, we were working on the drag and drop. Oops. Um, wait, where is it? Oh, okay. So drag is okay. Good. We only have drag is only exits here. That's okay. That's fine. We maybe should. Well. Set drag to nil here. And it's a bit weird to set a global variable to nil because they start at nil anyway, but in, I just want to make sure that if somebody like I don't know quit the game while dragging something that gets reset. Also something that is also I, I'm I'm debugging all of the problems with the live stream. Uh, yesterday I noticed that my camera that I'm recording through was actually losing energy. With the 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 charge the charge of the battery went down, but it's actually attached via USB, so I'm not sure about if it's actually getting enough power. Um, we have to pay attention to that today. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna check if drag is something, and if it's not, um, if not drag, um, then we're gonna add something to drag, right? Um, this is what are we going to add to drag? Add. Drag Dell. Um, we're gonna create a simple version of this. Hey, Achi. Oh yeah, you hear the background music now. That's good. There was background music yesterday. It was just way too soft. So the way this worked is like I toned down the music in my microphones and then it got even softer because on OBS I kind of like want to make the background a bit softer so I, you hear me. So it, uh, it, 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 I wasn't able to control the volumes. Like the only way for you to hear the music is like to make my eardrums explode. I'm just like, I um, just woke up, like, and I didn't just woke up, but it's kind of like still in the morning and my brain just doesn't work so well. Also, I'm very distracted. So I try to get in the zone right now. Uh, we're looking for heaps. I wanted to see what the heaps are. I'm just like, for some reason, I want to see what the heaps next look like. Uh, there we go. Here. Ah, yeah, yeah. Heap cell X and cell Y. Got it, got it. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't like this. This is not good. But let's do it for now. Yeah. Something like this. Ooh. But yeah, that's how it works, I guess. So that's how you get something into drag. Else. So drag is basically going to be the, um, like a little array. Hey, Lentopia. Um, drag is going to be a little uh, array. And then when we press a button, we're gonna get the card from the heap into that area, the drag and drop area. And then when we press the button again, we're gonna get that card from drag and drop and put it back on the on the board. Easy peasy for breezy. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's it's temporary. <laughs> um, something like this. See, putting it down again is, is kind of easy. It's just take it, picking it up, is, is, it's, na it's nasty. It's, oh my god, it's so nasty. Something like this. Uh, 
Uh, what is the debug currently happening? Uh, just so you know, okay. no work like literally nothing happens oh man this mouse is really driving me insane it's weird because the mouse is really weird but I don't feel any stuttering from anything else like the mouse stops but I still see like the video working so weird hey smelly fish sticks nice how are you doing dropping things okay it just doesn't work <laughs> Why? see how I'm, I'm moving my mice right now it's just not moving at all and I move it here yeah I think it's the mouth it's the battery dying I have to order the battery the problem is the battery is like double a battery I'm not sure if is that it because it looks it looks, it looks weird Wait, maybe double is normal, right? Ha! <laughs> Smelly fish sticks, pretty good. I was trying to manage my anxiety and be productive. So I feel good about that. It's really late over here, so I'm going to brush my teeth. Uh, weird pair fails all the way, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's... The world is weird, right? Some people go to bed, some people stay up late. Yeah, if it's if double A is normal, then maybe I have some around here. <sighs> yeah, triple is a small one. Yeah. Okay, I thought for some reason though it was it was some some weird third time. Um, so I we might have some in the kitchen. I will pick it up in a second. Uh, but first, I want to see something. I want to see something. I want to see some kind of success here, and I'm kind of shocked why you didn't. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. I got it, got it. Like this. And then we're gonna go Del I. Like this. Heaps. So del i is um, deleting something of a certain index, and I think this is the, the way to go. Pressing, yep, we pick it up, but but it doesn't. We can delete things now. We we cannot put them back in. Double A is bigger than triple A. What? Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. I think that makes sense for some reason. The more A's, the smaller it gets. <laughs> it's kind of like 
like with the amount of creativity there is in, in video games, the more A's, the smaller the creativity. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be throwing my AAA devs under the bus because I'm doing tremendous work. So what's the, what's the problem here? What's the problem here? Oh, why I? What is the I? Where did the I come from? See? It should be one. Man, look at me. Okay, okay. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Look at this. Okay. See? It is no problem. This is weird. But yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah. So the only um, thing that we have to figure out now is... We want to display the things that are in the drag and drop thing and we also want to only allow dropping when um, the things connect. Um, also, it would be good if the things that are being picked up, if they're not, uh, if the, well, we can, we can, when we drop, we can do this stack check, right? Stack, yeah, let's just stack here. Yay, progress! Like this. Come on. Um, so this is now stacked and I'm gonna drop it here and now this is stacked and if I drop it here it won't be stacked Yeah, this is good. Oh, look at this nice little stack that we already have here. So this is good. Yep, 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 this works. Um, I'm really not happy to w with the way um, I'm drawing the cursor here. When I do it in a draw heaps, that doesn't feel so great. Should be... Because now I have to draw even more stuff. But I, I guess it makes sense. Wait, where do I, where, where do I actually draw the cursor? Oh, I draw it here, right? Uh, I draw it in draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's why I'm drawing it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, let's draw the heaps here. Uh, I think we need to draw the heaps uh, in, we need to draw, create a new function called the draw heap. Not s, but draw heap. Function draw heap. Uh, L and E. C, X and Y, like this. So we have draw heap and draw heaps. Something like this. LNE. E. So this will just draw an array full of cards and we can use that function then to draw the stack. I uh, got inspired by yesterday's today stream, managed to solve an entry blockers problem. Won't finish in time for sure, but at least I have a tech demo kind of thing. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, something like, let's see it. Uh, wait, do we have a CX? No, but we have this. Well, then let's get this out. And then see why. Like this, right? Ah, uh, and then ah, uh, we can return the uh, y position of the last card. I think that's okay. So something like C Y equals. So we're gonna draw um, an array of cards, and then if. 
if uh, and we're going to return the last uh, x position uh, the y position of the last card local cy equals y something like this uh, yeah Um, this is bad, this should be X. Right, and then I guess shadow, we have to also add shadow. Yeah, the shadow thing, um, I, I think I'm gonna do it differently. Uh, I think eventually what we have to do is we're going to save the positions of every card in the actual card object and then just have a huge card array and just draw all of the cards at once. I think that makes more sense. Uh, but I just want to have something going on for now. Um, yeah, let's see how... Yeah, let's see if that even works. Okay, it works. Good. And then... If drag, then draw heaps, uh, drag, draw heap, drag, cur x, cur, cur y, like this. Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh! Now we need to go like minus four. We need to just like maybe figure out a good positioning for this. So the only problem is now if I have something in my in my uh, in my drag, I want to put the cursor a little bit further down. So I'm gonna say, if, oh, okay. if drag, uh, then uh, cur d x. Um, plus, plus equals hmm. Oh, no, an X. Y. <laughs> yeah. Also, make it so that it's a little bit offset. The car, the card snaps a little bit, so it's too snappy. You have to figure out the card. Wait, but, but now the cursor is too far down. Why, why is the cursor so far down? Doesn't combine after setting it down after it's drawn? What? It's good combines. It doesn't combine when when it's set somewhere it can combine because we haven't... Um, actually, you shouldn't be able to set it down here. 
it's just like temporary right now. You shouldn't be able to drop it here. You should be able to drop it here and here. That's good. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to drop it here. Uh, but I don't know why my cursor is so far down now. That's 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 not what I wanted, right? It should be. Yeah, it, that worked. It's for some reason, in a, eh? that's weird. Yeah, that looks good. Oh wait, no, the flash is when I'm picking it up my back. Okay. Yeah, it looked weird, but now it's looking fine. We have to pay attention, maybe there's some, some kind of bug. See, now it's a bit too, too high, the curse is a bit too high. This looks fine. Um, but this is too high. So... I also want to make sure that if the, the column... Like, yeah, the, was that... Is that, was, was that okay? Oh yeah, I can pick a zero. <laughs> okay, just want to make sure that this is also not possible. Uh, if not, drag and heap cell x. Hashtag heap cell x is greater than zero. Oh, wait. Oh, and then, oh, otherwise it does it in else and that's also not good. Okay, so um, yeah, let's let's do it like this. Do an double double if statement. A bit. You see for a second that the card is a bit too. Oh wait! You see? It's weird. Oh! I know what the problem is. It's stacked, so it's rendered a bit too high up. Gotcha. Um, uh, we have to do something like. Um, Track one dot stack. <laughs> See now, now with the cursors, I have to do some kind of scrolling. Hey, Mr. Brago. Hi, nice to see someone working on this card. I'm having a try on it, but it's totally different puzzle set. That's good. That's good. Uh, I think in. Uh, High stakes. We also had the same. We had also had the same situation where there's multiple cards, like three cards for high stakes. A bit confusing, maybe, but it's fine. It's fine. See, now it looks way better too. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good now. Uh, I'm, I'm, we definitely have to do some kind of like nice sound effect and, and nice particle effects come happening here, maybe like plop, you know, like plop, 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 plop. Definitely have to do this. Okay, so next up, I want to be able to select multiple things. This is supremely important. Up, down. So, uh, cell Y is minus, cell Y is 
plus. And then we're gonna go uh, cell, cell Y equals uh, mid one cell Y and hashtag heap cell X. It's not working! Why is it not working? Oh, I guess it's working. It's just like I, um, <laughs> I'm not changing the, the positioning of the mouse. Ah, but see now, now we get into, into trouble. Now we get into trouble. Because... Yeah. This, this, this thing is not, not, not because we're drawing, draw heaps and it always get, returns the final coordinate. How do we do this? You know what? We're going to do a calculate mouse position situation. Um, I'm just gonna duplicate the, the code, that's okay, but I just don't, don't like the code for drawing to be doing the... the... So actually, the, we're not gonna even do it here. But we have to kind of do it here because this is where we... Well, if we do it... Let's get all of this out into update. I think this is better. Get it out here, no sir, Bob, uh, and then we're gonna go with an update function. I think it's always good to like here. Yeah. So we're gonna do for i equals one to hashtag heap cell x. only do this for if not mouse mode. Like this. Yes, yes, this is good. Uh, this is not good, obviously. Right, and then something like um, C Y equals. We start at one, right? And we're drawing it. Yeah. Oh, while I'm thinking about how to use select multiple lines at once uh, to indent, I always go line by line to do it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean like indentation? Yeah, it depends. Sometimes when I have a lot, a lot, I. Um. Okay, okay, okay. And then wait, 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 wait. How do we? Uh, here. Like this. So if line, 
Oh, no, 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 that was, this was not the right position to paste this, that's draw. I'm gonna go to update. If line stack then That's how we draw the card. This is where we do the thing. Yeah, and then I'm gonna say if i equals uh, hashtag or equals equals hashtag l and e minus cell y minus one, then. This is where we're gonna get the um, y position. So cur dy. Like this, I think. So maybe this belongs afterwards. And then this goes in here. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Uh. Oh, spaces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could. Sp you. I guess in, in Pico, it doesn't really make sense. Uh, don't make a difference if you do use a space or a tab to indent. Um, but from other programming languages, I actually kind of like like tabs. I'm not sure if I'm actually using tabs. I'm not paying attention, but yeah. Um, so the questions are about how how to do indentation. Did I delete something accidentally? Yeah, I did. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. I think we got this. We definitely don't got this. Still can't go up and down. What? <sighs> oh, okay. Hey? Oh, okay, okay. So we have to do plus. It's a bit weird because it's like this. So at least we're changing the, the values, but the actual the actual position of the mouse doesn't change. Oh, because we're overwriting it. Again. <laughs> That's 
weird. Why is it gone? Also, that's weird. That's that's weird. That's also weird. So we have weird mistake mistake runes, but otherwise it's all, it's all good. What type of game is this? Uh, it's kind of solitaire. Um, but it's a funky solitaire. Right, um, so we had this problem now. Ah, oh, yeah, we're drawing, we're drawing this here now. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we, we make, want to make sure that we're actually drawing the, the heap, if, uh, the drag heap, if drag, in the actual draw function. Still, like, <laughs> what? what? Where is it going? What? <laughs> what? Why is it going so far away? What is, <laughs> what is happening? Oh, oh, interesting. That's an interesting bug. Um, I think it has to do with, again, with update function here. Uh, I'm gonna go if hashtag and -N e uh, else. Uh, see why? Not work, interesting. Oh no, it's we don't. There we go. I, I am not on my uh, on my best today. I'm sorry. <laughs> and that looks better. Why did the music stop? Don't stop the music, video. Po yes, please continue. Do, 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 do. No, something we can do now is we can plop, um, kind of like we can. Uh, Deep select and oh, we're always picking on one card. So the next step is I want to actually pick up multiple cards Pick drop uh, For I equals um, cell Y? No, one, two, cell Y. Uh, 
Um, so we are now adding multiple things to cell Y. And I think a, a, a nice little tool that we're gonna add in a, a nice little function that kind of helps is a last. Or wait. Yeah, let's, let's just do it. R. Return R. Hashtag R. Uh, but I'm even not, not sure if we even need it right now, because um, I think here we're gonna just do a del I, and I think um, equal eight. If you do the del i, but we don't, we don't specify an index, I think we delete the last entry. Yeah, uh, that's what the wiki says. Okay, so so if deleting something, then we delete it from the last position anyway. But the problem is. We want to do the first thing. So I guess cell y, comma i, uh, comma one is, is correct. And then here we're gonna do i. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> it's gonna be fine, guys, it's gonna be fine. Look. Oh no! <laughs> didn't work. I, th I thought I could just like, I just punch through, but yeah, let's just, just, let's just set it apart and we can always optimize it later. So we're gonna go local CRD equals Go local local L and E equals this. <clears throat> so this is gonna be line. So we're grabbing a card from the line, we're adding that card, and then we're deleting it. Um, so now the only problem is that we have to actually find the card, right? So it's going to be square brackets. Um, it's going to be the, the last card minus right, like this. So if um, i is one, then we are getting the last card. If i is two then we are getting the second to last card. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking is going to be happening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot something important. Minus one here. Because we're going backwards to that array. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes! Just dropping doesn't work yet, but otherwise I'm good. Uh, no, 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 drag two. Uh, no, actually, one is correct because we're deleting it from immediately as well. Look! Oh! Ah! 
Oh, that look weird. That look, that look weird. Why, why does it look like weird like this? That looks good, but that looks weird. Is it? Is it because it's stacked? Is that the problem? Look, it moves up. It should move down. Like here it moves down, the cursor moves up, but here it moves up. Also, this, this looks funky. Like it goes down and up again. Like it's centered on the bottom card. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's the problem? So weird. The cursor goes up, and here the cursor goes down. Problem seems to happen when we're dragging multiple cards always, right? It doesn't matter if they're stacked or not. If you have multiple cards in a heap, the card goes, the cursor goes up. And if you have one card, it goes down. And it actually doesn't matter. It's not the positioning of the of the cards we're dragging, it's actually the position of the cursor. Be here, or must be here. Oh, 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 I know what the problem is. Yeah, okay, got it, got it. So, the problem is um, cell Y needs to be when you press the button, cell Y needs to be. Set. Oh, by the way, if you go moving left or right, cell Y should be set to one always. That should always already solve the problem a little bit, and then. And then here, when we are picking up something. Set so Y to one. Yeah, see now it looks good. Um, here we're gonna set so Y to. Ah, oh, look how, how nice this is now. Oh. Silky smooth, that's right. Um, okay, let's start doing a to-do to -do list. A mouse, drag and drop. Um, check for connections. Um, so, oh, and then restrict deep select. Yeah. On the draw. Restrict deep select. Um, so check for on connections on drop is when we're dropping something, we only should be able to do this 
if the cards that we have uh, picked up, if they actually connect to the place where we're dropping. And restrict deep select means that I'm not supposed to be able to go um, up beyond a card that is already stacked. <laughs> so to explain, like what I'm doing here is widely, like it's a free for all. I like it doesn't follow any rules, right? But I should not be able to go up here because I can only pick the last card in the heap. I should be able to pick a card down here unless they're stacked. So for example, here, oh, okay, and this is a bad example, but here, those two cards are already connected. So I should be able to pick up the, the upper card from this from this little little sequence here. That's okay. Um, that's so moving up here is okay because it's all they, these are connected cards. But moving up past a connection is not good. That should be restricted. So these are like two big important things. Let's um what's what is easier to do? <laughs> Let's do let's do connections. I already I think we already have this. Yeah, if connects. Yeah, so we can do a check here. So when we're dropping, maybe this should not be in. We might pull this out of the update function. But for now, I'm going to keep it in update function because it's uh, it's all here, right? Uh, so when we're dropping. Uh, If connects, if not connects, if it's not connecting, then um, we're gonna do something like local LNE. Um, so if we're not connecting, uh, if the card, first of all, which cards are supposed to be connecting? So it should be the the uh, the second card is definitely the first card from the drag. So the the, the upper card that we're dragging, uh, and then it should be L N E. Oh yeah, this card should be last. L -N -E. Um. If L and E, hashtag L and e, hashtag L and e is greater than zero, obviously. And, and if that's the case, then L and E is gonna be right. Um, we need to have a new variable. Starting to drag, drag src equals cell x. So we know from which heap we're dragging. Um, and then if, if we're trying to put the cards somewhere where they do not belong, then they will go back where they were. So we're gonna go, go the destination line's gonna be heap. I'm using this function. Yeah, see now, bloop, the card returns where it's supposed to be. Because it doesn't actually connect. And also it doesn't connect here. And because uh, the, the colors match. So I have to actually move something out. And then for example, now I can connect and now it works. And this works too. Oh man, it already works. I love it. It's, you can already play the game. Oh man, now I'm 
I'm stuck. No, I'm stuck. No, I'm not stuck. <laughs> no, I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm stuck. But yeah, it works. Okay, so this is now fixed. Um, now we need to restrict the deep select. So we can only, we should only be able to go up. An update function. Uh, we should only be able to go up. So the question is if I'm gonna do it when I press actual the actual button or do I do it down here? Mm, yeah, we just do it here, whatever. We got some mistake. If um, hashtag keep cell x is greater than zero. Cell Y is greater than one, and then so we need to check all of the cards that are that we move past. Yeah, so we're gonna go for I equals one to cell Y. Comma minus one and two. Yeah, minus one like this. If heap cell X line uh, I minus one dot stacked equals false. Or actually, I think there's an easier way of doing this. I think there's an easier way of doing this. This is, this is, this is baby. So basically, if I'm already selecting a card that is not stacked, then I should be able to go up even further, right? So yeah, we can just do it here. Can we just like have a tool that's returns the card that I selected. Is that is that even useful for me? Nah. Why not? I am gonna call it card. I think this could be good. Do we already have a card? A card. Yeah, okay, that's good. So we're gonna return keep uh, sx. This, this little thing because we are selecting cards from the bottom and so that's we always have to do like this stupid math um, but if we do it like this if we would create it like a little function for this and it might be easier to do this that's what I'm thinking
and we can do even a check. We can go if heap is x um, hashtag is equals uh, zero, then return nil. I don't know if nil is a good idea. You know what? I'm, I'm just gonna ignore it. Um, just go in an update function here and we're gonna do this here. Um, cell x is greater than zero. As long as stack we can go up. So I cannot go up here. Well, I should maybe have a situation where something is stacked. Oh, come on. Oh, well, I can stack it myself. Or not here. Come on. Seriously? There we go. Yeah, see, I can now deep select, but I cannot go past this card. Seems to be robust too. Seems to be working fine. Oh, of course, I should not be able to do this if I am dragging something. That's also important. If drag drag snail do 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 Now I cannot go past this. If I drop it here, oh, I shouldn't be able to drop it. Oh, I guess I should, I could drop it here because, because that's where it came from. Now I cannot drop it here. And I cannot drag past it. But if I drop it, I, I can go past it. That was the idea. Okay, I'm gonna get something to drink from the kitchen and maybe I'm gonna get a new battery for the mouse. Let's see uh, if that will, that will solve the problem. Be right back.
I have returned. Let's see if the battery was the problem. So far so good. Yeah, I think that might have been a problem. Right. <clears throat> checking because my wife and my sister, uh, the wife, the sister of my wife <laughs> and my daughter will be returning at some point and they wanted to let me know when they do. So I want to make sure that they're not on their way already. Probably not going to be streaming too long anymore. Um, uh oh. Oh no, it wasn't the battery after all. wasn't the battery after all or maybe that was just like yeah no okay that's okay that was just like I think I, my my mouth was at the top of the screen yeah okay that's good okay no it's fine it looks it seems good okay so I want to be dragging <clears throat> I want to be dragging the I want to do the mouse controls now. I think that's, that's going to be a, an important aspect. Hmm. So something I noticed is that, yeah, uh, we also need to kind of save where, what the last button was, last B L equals but L. And last B R, but R, because we kind of want to catch the frame in which we click that needs to be a different um, behavior than when we just keep something pressed. There's a lot of variables going into this. Uh, where we do update the mouse? Okay, before we do the update, that's good. There's a lot going into into this, and now, and now we're doing. It. And now we're doing the mouse. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's good. Um, let's just. I think we're gonna split it into two functions eventually, and then we also get all the code from from the dragging. We're gonna I'd probably put it into into functions in a second. But um, first, I just wanna. I just wanna. I just wanna. I just wanna. Uh, I'm gonna do if. Uh, last B L is not equals mm, but L then uh, now we can the remove the debug from here do, do, do. registering the clicks yeah okay we're clicking oh okay 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 <laughs> if if but l and Okay, 
so if something about the button has changed, then if but L, then. Else. So this is gonna be click, this is gonna be release. Oh yeah, we need to pay, we need to also make sure that when we're dragging something and we start moving the mouse, we can actually drag it. Or uh oh, okay. I, I was I'm just so paranoid. Oh oh oh, oh. the mouse is chugging. The mouse is chugging. It's genuinely chugging now. But the CPU is at 18, so I don't know what the problem is. It's must be, I think it has to be with OBS. I think OBS has a too high priority or something. I don't know what the problem is. Now it's okay. Yeah. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, it's, we have to, we have to make sure that we, what happens if somebody presses buttons while dragging things? That's gonna be, <laughs> gonna be a little nightmare to solve. But for now, let's make those two areas, the mouse controls and the button controls work separately. And then we can introduce rules on how, when one switches into the other one. Oh man, I don't really like the, this mouse situation right now. This is, this is causing me a lot of, a lot of distress. Um, so let me click and if the drag is not anything, um, So I'm thinking. Okay, <clears throat> cell X equals, um, yeah, we need to definitely thinking about so I'm thinking about oh gosh. I'm thinking about if I click here should I should the game automatic select a row that is next to it or should I, I like do I really have to click on the actual card how lenient am I with where I'm dragging things and I think I have to be a bit more precise um, Yeah. A bit difficult. Um. Okay. Um. Mouse. Hmm. Uh, do I do two separate functions for this? Do I do it immediately? Definitely. Definitely going to be something that will come up quite a lot. Oh, man, I don't. What is with a mouse? What's with a mouse? I swear. Now I will have to do some investigation uh, off screen uh, with the mouse because it's, it's driving me insane. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what the best solution here is. So should I make like a function? that just puts the results of the, the mouse check in, in cell X and cell Y. I don't think it might be a good idea to do a cell X and cell Y 
to set it to zero or something because that might be problematic. So maybe we do it, put it in temporary variables. Yeah, okay, let's do it something like this. Mm -hmm. So we do it in tool and function. Mouse call. Let's call it mouse call. Mouse. Mouse row. Mouse, mouse line. Let's call it mouse line. Um, oh, I say the gif accidentally. Uh, and so this will basically re return. Where are we drawing them? Uh, we're drawing the first. There's the heaps. There's the heaps we're drawing. Yeah, that's the the, the formula for drawing the heaps. Or oh, let's call it mouse heap. <clears throat> um, so this basically tells me which heap the mouse is hovering over. Um, and so we're gonna go something like this. And I know they are nine pixels wide, right? So. Return mouse x minus ten. Uh, and x equals mouse x minus ten divided by twenty. should be first. First minus 10 and then divided by 20, right? So this should get us the heap. Let's just return, return i for now, the, uh, mx for now, and we're gonna see what the problem is. Oh, I think I think my the girls are returning, so we have to stop the stream now. Uh, too bad because it's in a kind of like a we're in the middle of somewhere or something here. But it's always this case, right? Yep, uh, they're they're back. All right, guys. So thank you for joining the stream for today. Uh, sadly, I wasn't be able to stream as long as I thought, but tomorrow is going to be a normal work day, so I should be able to stream for longer, um, probably more in the morning. Um, yeah, thank you for tuning in and see you next time around guys. Bye bye.